Hey everybody, it's Anna. Time for our final card in this week's tarot story. So we close this week with our third major arcana card for the week, and it is Judgment. So Judgment is one of the last cards. It's second to last in the major arcana trajectory, which means it is it is the point where, where you cross the finish line. This is when you're finishing, right? And that's because the old life is ending and new life is beginning. Judgment literally depicts resurrection in its in its imagery you've got the angel gabriel blowing the horn over the graveyard and the corpses are coming out of the grave right so the idea here is that we are leaving the old life in the grave leave it behind you cut ties with your old life so you can become alive to what is possible right now that means all the gravity gr the word grave gravity actually has grave in it right it's like the dead things gravity's the dead things you cut off the dead things so that there's no dead things left and you're you're really light on your feet and ready to encounter what is possible in the new life. So since this whole week has been about transitions, this is where we've been heading all along, is to this mo moment of the ultimate transition, releasing the old and coming alive to, to, to the new. Um, and in order to pull this off, you have to have a very nimble mind, which is why I think we started the week with Wheel of Fortune. Um, because I think Wheel of Fortune is a lesson for the mind. It's a, it's a lesson about non-attachment, getting the mind to let go of the things it wants to cling on to, letting it, the ideas, the beliefs, the stories, all those things which the mind uses to make sense of things. We want the mind to not be attached to those things. We want the mind to stay in the present moment. Here's where all the magic and the possibility is. All the stories are just ways of talking about magic right? Or, or non-magic, depending on what stories you're telling. We don't want the mind to be attached to the stories. We want the mind to be along for the ride. So hopefully this week we've been able to like help the mind come along with us. Yesterday's card was the two of cups reversed, which is about being kind to ourselves. Transitions are hard, even though they are good. I think they're good. They're expans they're, that's where expansion and growth and magic comes from. They're still very hard. And so we have to be mindful that it is hard work we are doing we have to help the mind learn to not get judgy because the mind tends to not understand how hard life is. <laughs> That's why the mind's so judgy. It doesn't understand how hard things are and how much energy it takes to do things. So the mind thinks, why can't we just get up and move on, you know, when we're totally exhausted? So the mind hopefully has been, we've been training the mind this week to walk through transitions, to, to be non-attached and to be quiet to not talk too much when we're taking care of ourselves. We need nurture. So today we're asking the mind to cut, make the final cut. This old life is gone. We're coming alive to the new. To the new. We're asking the mind to leave behind its stories and its toolbox from that past life because you don't need that toolbox anymore. Whatever tools you used to have, if you need them, they're integrated. They're part of who you are now. So you don't have to access them or, or make a point of them. They're not strategies you have to employ you do this naturally, right? You're done with that piece of work that you left in the grave. Now you're ready to do something else. So it's very exciting, but it's something we want to, it's very exciting. It's very cool, but it's also like the ultimate challenge for the mind. It's like the final release. So um, just be mindful of where your mind struggled this week, if it has been struggling, what, what you can offer it, how you've helped it relax. And be mindful, this could be the last push where the mind gets a little lost. So just as you are kind to your heart yesterday with the two of cups reversed, you're kind to your heart when it needs to be loved and nurtured and supported. Be kind to your mind and help answer its questions, help it sort things out, help it move on to find what's next in your next part of the next piece of the journey, which is going to be a totally new one. That's it for this week. See you next time. Bye.